Whether it's addressing challenges found in the natural world or the world we've built, there's never been a better time to be an environmental or civil engineer at Vanderbilt University. Well, civil and environmental engineering at Vanderbilt attracted me because they solve big problems. So the nation is facing huge problems in energy and security, and civil and environmental engineering is addressing those challenges. We work on nuclear waste management in conjunction with the Department of Energy uh, for nuclear waste from former defense production uh, activities. What sets apart our uh, graduate students is their enthusiasm and their independence, and really they challenge the faculty. I am working on uh, bridges, bridge engineering. A damage occurs in a structure, it generates stress waves. By analyzing those electric signals, uh, we are trying to see if we can detect the nature and location of the damage on the structure. One of the great things about Vanderbilt is the resources available to graduate students. This is a scanning electron microscope, and I have full access to the machine, and I can do um, you know, 24 hours a day processing and analyzing if I wanted to. The professors are so top-notch and they're so well-known. They're always going to find some sort of external funding for you, and then you're set, really. Students are the lifeblood of any university. They are the ones who are doing the research and discovering um, new concepts. Being a graduate student at Vanderbilt means holding yourself to a higher standard, inspiring others to learn even before your own education is complete. The students who are with me are part of SAVVY, that's the Summer Academy at Vanderbilt for the Young. Me and my associate Paul Sparks uh, decided to teach a very condensed lesson to these students in the parts of physics in which we're kind of you know, experts. We want students who are uh, really curious and open-minded and uh, excited about uh, the research problems, but we are really interested in solving real-world problems. And in my own group uh, on reliability and risk assessment, we have actually uh, a lot of uh, real-world problems that we address. At the Vanderbilt Institute for Energy and Environment, Director George Hornberger is exploring the real-world problem of maximizing energy production while minimizing environmental impact. A lot of our students come to us with uh, high idealistic motives, that is they want to make a difference. And I think that uh, that's also a characteristic of Vanderbilt students that we, we try to nurture and nourish. Energy, environment, infrastructure, the 21st century challenges for young engineers are serious. But that doesn't mean you can't get a world-class education and have fun at the same time. You couple a beautiful campus with the top-notch professors, with laid-back students on campus who know how to party but who know how to take care of business, and you get a very good mix of a good college feel. Graduate students and even the undergraduate students, everybody, should be thinking along the same lines that I have in the sense that Vanderbilt is an up, in an upward trajectory. It is a fantastic school already to begin with, but it is getting better and better all the time. Insight, innovation, impact. Vanderbilt School of Engineering.